Clean Production and Just-in-Time Systems. Basic Clean Principles Elimination of waste, eliminate any activities that do not add value, include overproduction, waiting time, processing, inventory and motion. Increase speed and response. Better process designs allow efficient responses to customers' needs and the environment. Improve the quality. Poor quality creates waste, so improving quality is essential to the lean environment. Reduce costs. Simplifying processes and improving efficiency translates to reduce costs. Lean production, lean activity refers to approaches that focus on the elimination of waste in all forms and the smooth, efficient flow of materials and information throughout the value chain to obtain faster customer response, higher quality and lower costs. Manufacturing and service operations that apply these principles are often called lean operating systems. Lean concepts were initially developed and implemented by the Toyota Motor Corporation. Some examples of waste in organization exceeds capacity, inaccurate information exceeds inventory, long changeover and setup time, and so on. This is another example, overproduction, produced too early, long distance traveled, retraining and relearning time and expense, scrap, and so on. Another example, waiting time, accident, too much space, unnecessary movement of materials, people, and the information, non-value-added process setups, lean tools and approaches, value stream mapping. Value stream mapping tries to highlight value-added and non-value-added work activities, the economic of process flow, identifying numerically bottleneck work activity and workstation, evaluating process and wait times, evaluating information flows, small batch and single piece flow. Batching is the process of producing large quantity of items as a group before being transferred to the next operation. Lean operating system seek to reduce batch size using single piece flow. A transfer batch is part of the original batch lot size that is completed at one workstation and moved to the next downstream workstation. Single piece flow allows companies to better match production to customer demand avoid large inventory increases. To utilize single piece flow, a company must be able to change between products quickly by reducing setup times. Stable production schedules. Lean operating system required uniform and stable production plans and schedules. This shape represents the batch versus single piece flow processing. Batch processing, all parts are processed at workstation A before moving to B. It transferred as a batch. The total batch processing time equal 3,500 seconds. In single piece flow, we transfer product piece by piece. This will be 
decrease the total batch processing time to 2015 seconds and decrease the bottleneck work activity. The five principles are as follows. Sort each item is in the proper place. Set in order, arrange materials so that they are easy to use. Shine, clean work area, standardize, formalize procedures and practices. Sustain, keep the process going. Visual controls. Visual controls are indicators for operating activity that are placed in clear sight of all employees so that everyone can quickly and easily understand the status and the performance of the work system. Example, electronic scoreboards in production processes, painted area, on the floor where certain boxes should be placed, employee pull strings to stop production, sign lights on machines and even Kanban cart. Efficient layout and standardized operations. The layout, process, equipment, workstation and job must be integrated and arranged in an efficient way. Technology. Expert systems use a set of intelligent rules to make decisions to solve problems or control operation on machines. Supplier relationship management. Lean systems require supplier that will deliver on time and provide high quality products. Single minute exchange of time, expi. SMED refers to quick setup in process so that multiple products in smaller batches can be run on the same equipment. Reducing setup time frees up capacity that can be producing output and therefore generating revenue. Lean Six Sigma Six Sigma and Lean concept and methods are often combined into Lean Six Sigma, which both are driven by customer requirement. Both try to eliminate waste, reduce cost, speed, things up and improve quality. Both focus on cost saving. Both rely on a systematic methodology. Both focuses on quality as the source, doing it right the first time. Both assure high quality output and continuous improvement. Differences between Lean and Six Sigma. Lean addresses more visible problems in the process while Six Sigma focuses on problems like process variation. Lean tools are intuitive, simple and easy to apply. Six Sigma tools include more advanced statistical analysis. Lean requires less training whereas Six Sigma required advanced training and expertise in statistics control charts. Total Productive Maintenance TPM is focused on ensuring that operating system will perform their intended function consistently. TPM works to prevent equipment failures and breakdowns maximizing equipment effectiveness. TPM tries to predict equipment failure rates and perform maintenance before a problem arises. The principles of TPM also include employee ownership of the equipment. Batch production distribution systems. 
a batch system produce finished goods, inventory in advance of customer demand using a forecast of sales. Parts and sub-assemblies are pushed through the operating system based on a pre-defined schedule that is independent of actual customer demand. A traditional automobile factory and distribution system is a good example of a batch system. A full system employees at a given operation workstation go to the source of the required parts such as machining or sub-assembly and withdraw the units as they need them. By pulling parts from each preceding workstation, the entire manufacturing process is coordinated to the final assembly schedule. Finished goods are made to match with the actual rate of customer demand, resulting in minimum inventories and maximum responsiveness. Just-in-time system. Just-in-time system are sometimes called a Kanban system. A Kanban is a flag or a piece of paper that contains all relevant information for an order. Slabs called Kanban card are circulated within the system to initiate withdraw and production items through the production process. The Kanban card are simple visual controls. The withdraw Kanban authorizes the materials handler to transfer empty containers to the storage area. Next, a production Kanban activates production of parts. Finally, the full container is delivered to the materials handler. This shape represents the two cycles, customer cycle and supplier cycle. The step one begin with customer and then withdraw Kanban card to the storage area. Step two, production through the Kanban card and then get away from workstation. This represents the production rate unit time per period. Step three, return to storage area and then to the customer 